Well, the, the thesis of the piece was uh, born out of uh, January 8th, 2004, um, the day that this report came out about American intelligence prior to the Iraq war. And um, I, never, I always wondered why the report didn't catch steam in the U.S., uh, in the U.S. media. That report basically said that there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, so that the intelligence lied or twisted the truth. But therefore, it was already too late because actions had been taken and America invaded Iraq. So basically, what, what are the consequences of that lie and of that report not getting attention? Mm. And, you know, we focused on the American perspective, but then Kevin said, like, what about the Iraqi perspective? What, what if we figure out what happened on that specific day in Iraq? And that's how Mukhalat yeah. came yeah. came in the, the picture. Yeah. Well, the the, um, the the perspective, the Iraqi perspective, came uh, here in a contradictory uh, or has a contradictory form. Because we knew that there were no weapons of mass uh, destruction. كنا 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 نحاول أن 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 نؤسس ونبحث عن 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 مفاهيم أخرى. We were trying to uh, to to find out and to establish new concepts. هذه المفاهيم هي جعلتنا إنه إنه لا نفكر في إذا كانت أسلحة دمار شامل موجودة أو أو غير موجودة. These new concepts made us think in a different way, not about whether uh, the um, wep- those such weapons existed or not. فجعلت من المواطن العراقي أو جعلت من الشخصية العراقية البحث عن غير أشياء. So it, it made the, um, the, the Iraqi personality look for other things. البحث عن 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 مفهوم الديمقراطية، البحث عن مفهوم الحرية، البحث عن مفاهيم. Looking for thinking about the concept of democracy, freedom. Um, these concepts like this. عن متطلبات الحياة اليومية. Concepts having to do with the needs uh, in daily life, the needs of the Iraqis in daily life. For me, it's it's just like I speak from the top of my head, but I think an unsettling, unsettling feeling, mm. not settled but unsettled, like disrupted, in a way, like more a visceral feeling than a mental. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say, I would say that too. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I'm, I guess I'm the only American here, so my, yeah, my perspective is, is a little different. But because uh, we were the ones who, you know, uh, invaded somebody else, and I, I would kind of would want some people to think that some some other alternative reality is possible that we can mm-hmm. we can connect and we can mm-hmm. talk and become actually good friends and uh, exchange ideas and and actually mm-hmm. that we have a lot of the same we have a lot of the same ideas um, about everything the theater relationships uh, art politics and uh, family mm-hmm. and that uh, something else is possible you know something else is possible other than just the you know what happened in 2003 and since أعتقد شيء جدا مهم هو أن الشعب العراقي والشعب الأمريكي شعب متلاحم. أعتقد إنه يجب أن نبحث عن هذه النقطة. Um, I find something very important. I find that the, um, uh, the American uh, uh, people and the, the, um, the Iraqi people are actually in harmony with each other. That they are together. Uh, and we have to look more into this question, into this issue. أتمنى أن تنفتح باب لكي يتم هذا التواصل. Uh, I hope that there will be a door open for this kind, for this new communication. Uh, I'm alone amidst these Americans and I feel that they are my brothers. I don't know where this feeling comes from. And thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. And Thank the you. Belgian? What about the Belgian system? Mine fist. Yeah, that's, that was Dutch. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> my spirit, he says. My spirit. Not.